refractive index topic in a ray optics 12th class physics and also 10th class refraction of light at plane surfaces so what is a refractive index refractive index is a also called optical density optical density it is denoted by the letter n or mu so refractive index is a property of the material medium of light so which can decide in how many degrees the refracted ray is a bending when it travels from one medium into another medium you know light when uh, enters from one medium to another medium so it may bend towards normal or away from normal so to what extent the refracted ray is a bending so depends on refractive index of the material medium so what is a refractive index so it is the the ratio between ratio between speed of light in vacuum and speed of light and speed of light in the given medium and speed of light in the given medium is called refractive index of the given medium refractive index of the given medium so refractive index is denoted by the letter n ratio means divided symbol speed of light in vacuum is a denoted by c speed of light in the given medium is v the given medium may be air or water or glass or diamond or some oils like a kerosene or solid state water like ice so refractive index of any given medium is given by the formula c by v where c is speed of light in vacuum you know speed of light in vacuum is a constant that is 3 into 10 power 8 meters per second c speed of light in vacuum in air also we take a speed of light 3 into 10 power 8 meter per second so since speed c is the speed v is the speed so it has the same units that is why refractive index has no units refractive index has no units because c units is meter per second v units also meter per second then meter per second meter per second will be cancelled so as it has a no units it is a dimensionless quantity it is dimensionless quantity it is a dimensionless quantity so c is a constant and v is the speed of light in the given medium and given medium refractive index so as a c is a constant as a c is constant then relation between n and v is inversely proportional it means that it means that for a given medium n value is higher then speed of light in that medium is lower for a given medium n value is a lower then speed of light in the given medium will be higher so inversely proportional refractive index of the material medium is inversely proportional to speed of light in that medium or in two cases it can be written as n1 by n2 is equals to v2 by v1 n1 by n2 is equals to v2 by v1 
refractive index of some materials refractive index value and material medium of light so these are some important if you take air if you take air its refractive index value is approximately 1 if you take water its refractive index sorry if you take ice its refractive index is 1.31 If you take water, its refractive index is one point three three. If you take a kerosene, it is one point four four. If you take a rock salt, it is one point five four. And if you take a diamond, it is two point four two. so these are some important refractive index values so for the given material medium most important so this value air is taken 1.303 actually but approximately we take it is but we can also calculate refractive index of air by the formula uh, n is equals to We know speed of light in vacuum C is three into ten power eight meters per second. But same value we also take a speed of light in the medium eight that is three into ten power eight meter per second. It is in vacuum and this is in air. So then what is the refractive index in air? So we have a formula n is equals to C by V that is three into ten power eight meters per second by Three into ten power eight meter per second. So, on cancellation we can get so refractive index for air is approximately so uh, exactly here one. That is why refractive index of air is taken as one. In the next video we can explain what is a relative refractive index.